Hello and welcome back to Love Advice TV. My name is Coach Adrian and this is what I do. I help people overcome breakups, separations and divorces and to come back together stronger in a healthier and happier relationship. On Love Advice TV, we come out with a new video every single day on different topics that people suggest in the comment section of our videos and from interesting conversations that we get in our one-on-one -on -one private coaching sessions with clients every single day. And the topic, what I wanted to talk about today, comes from actually a comment on YouTube. And the question is, will my ex move on if I don't reach out to them? Will my ex move on if I go into no contact? I've done a video on this topic recently, but because there's another comment uh, linked to it, I wanted to talk about this notion of an ex moving on because you don't reach out. And I understand that it's a fear, it's a vulnerability that, that, that um, is expressed very often in coaching sessions because you are afraid to lose the one you love, of course, right? But the truth of the matter is that you've already lost them. The relationship is already over. In your ex's mind, they have already moved on, okay? Whether they tell you so or not. And as long as you are letting your fears and your insecurities get the best of you, unfortunately, you cannot win back the one you love. The odds are stacked against you because it is extremely difficult to win over someone to seduce them or to attract them from a place of weakness, desperation or vulnerability. And that's why the personal transformation aspect is so important to a breakup recovery. That's why I tell clients day in and day out that you must first be happy and then win back the heart of the one you love, not the other way around. It is a myth to think that you are unhappy today because the one you love has left you and that you will be happier or happy again once they come back into your life. You probably feel that way and if you do, you're approaching the breakup recovery process backwards and you must first regain your sense of self-esteem and self-worth and happiness and live a life of purpose and then it is realistic to inspire the one you love to come back to you. And not reaching out to your significant other is often absolutely necessary to win them back, okay? Especially if you were needy, if you made a lot of mistakes after the breakup, if you were super nagging to your ex, if you clinged on, begged and pleaded, you need to be able to basically pull away to change the way that they feel about you so that they can start to realize how much you actually brought to the table. And human beings tend to overvalue what we don't yet possess and to take what we have for granted. And the odds are that your ex is taking you for granted today because there was too much of you, too much neediness, too much desperation, too much despair, too much begging. And so no contact in these types of situations is necessary because it forces you to regain value, to shift your focus and your perspective on what matters, on what can actually help you maximize your chances of success. And at the same time, it enables the one you love to start to see the quality aspects of what you bring to the table, to your quality attributes, etc. And not reaching out to them only serves to showcase and to highlight what you bring to the table because human beings tend to take what they have for granted and to overvalue what they don't yet possess. So your ex needs to lose you, especially if you were too needy and clingy. Of course, that's not the case all the time. In certain cases, no contact can backfire. And that's why if you see advice on the internet that tells you that no contact is always the way to go, no matter what, and that you should never reach out first, be very, very wary, be very, very careful, because in some cases it's the worst possible advice that you can get. And if you were too distant, if you neglected your partner for years or for months and they felt abandoned and they jumped into a new relationship because you neglected them and they didn't feel valued and appreciated, 
going no contact and waiting for them to reach out again is a terrible, terrible idea. So be very, very careful with that. That said, we are here and you can book a private coaching session with us one-on-one -on -one, and you can choose your coach. You can work with Alex, you can work with Natalie or Steven or Samira or myself, whoever you connect with the most. And we would be glad to walk hand in hand with you through this process of breakup recovery to help you find meaning and purpose and to feel empowered and confident in order to rebrand you, to shape the way that your significant other sees you in order to then maximize your chances of success once the balance of power has been leveled off again. And if you're interested in working with us, you can go to withmyexigan.com slash coaching in order to book a coaching session with one of us. And it will be our pleasure to help. If you have questions linked to reaching out to your ex and your no contact or radio silence, please leave them in the comment section below. One of our team members will reply to you. We do our utmost to get back to you in a timely manner. As you can imagine, we get a lot of requests, a lot of emails, a lot of um, high demand for private coaching sessions and we do the best we can. We care, you know it, you can sense it in our videos and we do what we can and we'll get to your comments as soon as possible. And I can't wait to also perhaps potentially work with you in a one-on-one -on -one coaching session in the days to come. No matter what you choose to do, keep fighting the good fight, take good care and see you soon.